Now let's look at the actual application of hatch and fill uh, in a drawing. Here I have an elevation of a small cabin and I want to enhance this with uh, using fill patterns to represent materials. Uh, I'm going to start by activating my hatch and I'm going to be working on the roof. So in this case I'll go to my custom and I want my AR uh, roof shake. So I'll choose that pattern and I'll leave the scale at 1. I need to pick the boundary so I pick inside my boundary edge and it finds that boundary. I hit enter to go back and now I'll preview and that my, makes my roof shake pattern so I'll go ahead and accept that. Um, next I want to put bricks on the chimney so I'll get my hatch again and this time for my material um, I'm going to use the brick I have to look for it for a second. I'm going to get brick. And for these to come out the right size uh, in, the scale, uh, in the scale that I'm working to, I need to scale these to 15. So I'll pick inside my boundary and preview and that looks right and so I'll accept that. Now you notice that down here in the front I want to hatch this area in but I don't want to hatch the windows and the doors. These would be considered islands in my hatched area. So we need to look at how we would deal with islands. I'll start my hatch command and in the dialog box down here at the bottom I have an arrow for more options. This expands the dialog box and I see that I have some choices about how I'm going to deal with islands. With this box checked islands will automatically be detected inside the boundary area and then how they're going to be dealt with you notice that if I have normal it's going to ignore this region and fill the middle. I can say outer or I can say ignore all of the island boundaries. Well, Let's take a look at what normal looks like. I'm going to use my uh, pick to pick inside my boundary area and you can see the boundaries that have been found including the windows that would be considered the islands. And so I need to uh, to set my material. In this case I want to use a line. And I need a scale of 48. And let's preview. And it looks pretty good except for you notice the very center of these windows are getting lines coming through them too. So we're going to change to outer. This will force all of my hatch to stay on the very outside edge of my uh, boundaries. And let's preview this. And you notice that now I don't have any lines going through there, so it's staying on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And now I have hatched this area so that it looks like siding and it has avoided the windows and doors. So I'd like to add some color um, to my elevation to make it look a little bit better. So I'm going to uh, click on hatch and change to my gradient fill. And in this case I want um, I'll start with the fireplace. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick actually a single color. I'm going to pick out a shade of red which I'll choose and then I'm going to go ahead and pick the fireplace 
and again it finds that boundary and this time I'm going to look at the draw order because I want on my chimney I want to see the lines for the bricks but I want to see the color too so that means I need to set the color behind I'm going to say send it to the back behind the hatch that's already there and let's preview and see how that looks okay so now I can see how my gradient colors are going to work and I'm going to choose a different one I think I'll choose light at the top dark at the bottom and we'll preview that and I'm going to uh, soften it a little bit I'll preview that that looks more like what I want so I'll go ahead and accept that um, down here the strip at the bottom uh, I would like to have that in kind of a, um, a medium brown so I'm going to choose hatch again and go to gradient color uh, this time I still want to stay with single color this time I'm going to go to my color books and I'm and I'm going to pick kind of a uh, a light brown and I'll pick my island so I'm going to pick this area down here and go ahead and accept that now I would like to have this fascia board be the same as this down here so one of the things that I can do is when I go into my hatch and gradient dialog box I can use my inherit properties tool with inherent properties I can pick up the properties of this filled area and I can put them into this boundary area and I'll preview that and now I've matched these two together by using the uh, inherit properties tool now I want a light color here with the windows and doors so the wall with the windows and doors in it so I'm going to again go to my color book I'm going to pick kind of a yellow for that I'll pick come back and preview to see what that looks like and I can see that that does stay on the outside of all of my windows so I'll go ahead and accept that Turn our attention to the roof now if I want to uh, get my gradient hatch directly I can take it off of the flyout on my draw panel and I want a, a brown color for the for the roof so we'll choose that we'll go ahead and we'll pick a point and we will preview now you notice that we've had send to back has stayed so each time we're putting it behind the, the hatch that was already there let's see what would happen if I uh, send it to the front and let's preview that you can see that that covers up uh, the shake hatch pattern that was there so I can control the visibility by uh, using that draw order to make sure that they go in in the order that I want them to go and now I'm looking at the gradient on that and seeing if I want to accept that I would like it to be uh, light towards the top and dark towards the bottom a little bit more like that and I'll go ahead and accept it we're gonna look at at how I could add color as a hatch rather than a gradient if I wanted to add a solid color I can activate my hatch command and uh, in picking out my pattern other other predefined has solid as one of those options so I'll say OK down here under color I can look at my color palette here and we're going to pick a blue say OK and now we'll pick points now what I want to work on is this little trim around the outside of the windows 
And when I pick that area, these are blocks, so it uh, it's saying that it, it's not closed. But we're going to go ahead and continue, and then we'll preview to see if it stays on the outside. And that looks good. So I'll accept that. Now if I want this one to look like that one, you know that I can bring back my hatch and use my inherit properties. Take the properties from that window properties, place them there. I'll accept that it's not a closed area and that looks good. And so here's my finished elevation with uh, hatching and gradient colors and solid colors.